most big cities have its own culture. Like right. Chicago has the drill, right? It's no different than the Bay Area and Hyphy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Well, and I think it's appropriate because she's from the Bay. So, yeah. Like, it would be hella weird if she was, like, from Kansas calling it, like, you see, you right. said it. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like, you've only yeah. been in the Bay how long? Uh, two years? One year? Two years. Yeah. He said hella. Hella. Catching yeah. on. I mean, I've been it's saying hella. It's catching I've been you? saying hella. But yeah, I was saying, yeah. You like, hella it. is, like, part of, like, normal, like, vocabulary. I never have. Now. I'm Out sure of it here? started in the Bay. But yeah, kid, people no. are over people. In Arizona, were people saying hella? Yeah. No. Yes. This is less than zero. Less than zero. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Less Than Zero podcast episode. Where are we at? 21? I'm so bad with numbers. 21 man. Savage. <laughs> All right, 21. All right, whatever he said. 21 Savage. 21. Uh, today we're going to talk about, it's extremely hot right now. We broadcast out of the Bay Area in case you didn't know. So we're going to get through this. Uh, we're going to talk about the heat wave here in the Bay, uh, the power shutoffs. going to talk about the air. It's extremely crappy. Uh, the new Drake video, Cardi's WAP, the backlash with that. Maybe some Trey songs. And uh, we need to get some DM advice, too. So that's why we got a special guest on. But first, speaking of our special guest, um, she is, I connected with her totally organically, like what, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. She was, um, she's a Bay Area artist, born and bred. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. I just want to, I want to give you like a v- really big intro. Yeah, you know no, you're I mean? right. You got it. <laughs> and I, I always follow her on IG and I really respect her hustle. But, you know, I never had a chance to talk to her and she put me on her IG live where she showcases new artists. And I had a chance to chime in and just give my thoughts on that, which I totally appreciated. And I just really, um, we we do a monthly guessing. We don't even do it every week. And we said, you know, we just wanted to talk to people that we thought were really cool that we fucked with. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you come from. doesn't matter what you do. It's just, we, we just really liked you as a person. And um, that's kind of where it came from. Hey. And with that said, <laughs> her name is Miss Vicky. Miss Vicky, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you guys. Thank Ooh. you so much for having me. Yeah, man. We're at 110 subscribers, and we might have 111 by this point, so we'll see what happens. Yes. <laughs> Can only go up from here, right? Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about this heat wave. How has it affected, like, everyone? Like, you? Oh. I mean, you're in the city, right? Yeah, it's been... Oh, my God, and it's so it's so hot. This is not the right weather for San Francisco. We're used to the foggy, cold mm-hmm. sweater, like, you know, but this heat, I was... I'm dying. Did you like, have... Do you have AC at your house? Uh, No, we have fans. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I just, yeah, you right. know what I mean? Like, but then with fans, it just kind of cir- starts circulating hot air. So you're like, oh my God. Yeah. You just want to lay on the floor. Just I don't remember. Thin. Like I've been here like five years, but I don't remember like having this cutoff issue. Like PG&E issued those, those cutoffs with the power cutoff and everything like that. Mm. Is that like a normal thing? Um, it, it, it doesn't really happen often to be honest. So mm. when you, when you had mentioned it, I was mm. like, oh, that's. That sucks because I, you know, it doesn't really happen often. Yeah. So that yeah. was just, yeah, that sucks. Niall, did you get your power cut off? Mine was cut out for like. My power was not cut off, but I mean, I mean, I mean, it still sucked. Like, yeah. Dealing with the heat. You know, mm-hmm. I moved from Arizona. Yeah. And, you know, I, I honestly moved from Arizona to get away from the heat. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm like, yo. What's going on? I might as well stay in Arizona. Well, here's the thing, though. I mean, it's not the good thing about I mean, the the beautiful thing about California is that it's not forever. It's for like a week here. Right. Right. Well, I mean, to be honest, if you think about it, when you're here in the Bay Area, you have to remember that we have our Indian summers. So our summers are not till like August, September, October. So God. that's really our our summer. And like, e- so it, great. And even when it's a summer, it's not like 120. Yeah. No, oh, no, no. no. The, like our summers are like 70s. Maybe 80s, yeah, you know, I, and then I, when it gets hot, then, yeah. you know, low key 90s. But I mean, no, our summers are nice, like they're tolerable. Mm-hmm. So before we get into you on the heat wave thing, what did you guys do to escape the heat? Like I like, for example, I I just I dude, I was in the car maybe for like eight hours at a time. I was just driving up and down 101 with really? the AC. AC? <laughs> yes. I went to San Jose. I went back. I went to Dang. Daly City. I went back. Wow. Yes. Because, you know, because my, my phone, I didn't have any power. So my phone was like, ju- was dying. Uh-huh. So I charged it and I was like, well, listen to the radio. You know what I mean? Chill out, relax. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. That's so much gas. Yeah. I got a hybrid, baby. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So you only spent like $20 Man, driving Asians all around the Bay Area? Agents, ec- they were economical, bro. That's insane to me. 40 miles a gallon. <laughs> you just blew my mind. Yeah. How about you guys? <laughs> How about you guys? You guys do anything? Are you guys actually. Uh, I definitely left the house yeah. for sure if I wanted to live. So uh, <laughs> we, uh, my wife and I, we went, we walked, um, like we live in Dilly city. So it's not as bad as like whatever's going on. Shout out Ceremony. 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm there all great, the time. Great mall. Uh, and then we we, it's we, we went to uh, <laughs> we we hung out like at this uh, like next to this ice cream spot and it had like mist. So. Like, oh, that's nice. It was nice. It was nice. How about you? Uh, I I stayed home. You know what? Luckily, my mom had this. Uh, she got my kids because I have two kids. Mm-hmm. So she got my kids like this little kid pool. Um, so I had them out there and, you know, every now and then I would like just dip my body in there oh, okay. and just stay out. You know, I mean, I had to do what I had to do. I'm like, you know what? This is a kid's pool. But so the pool was okay. for them. I thought it was going to be for like you and your fiance. <laughs> right. No, uh, no. no. <laughs> uh, you know what? At this point, maybe, you know, the kids go, go to sleep. I'm like, let's right. go to the pool. But it's like, honestly, it's really small. Like, it's just literally up to my calves. So. Sure. sure. <laughs> but I mean, I'll, I'll I'd probably drown in that, bro. <laughs> That's worth it. That's worth it. That's everybody's pool at that point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dope. Um, hey, so let's seg, man. Let's segue and, and talk about you. You know, um, you know, I, I know a little bit, but I purposely don't want to, you know, dig too deep because I want the audience to get to know you. You're from the Bay Area. Yes. Born and raised. Um, please. Yeah. Take yeah. it away. Oh, yeah. So I was born and raised in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I've been there my whole life, my whole, whole, whole life. But it was, you know, it's, it was fun. You know, I, I mean, there, there's certain times because I've lived here for so long that I'm just kind of like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of ready to leave. But then there's a part of me that, you know, I love my city. So it's like, you can't hate it if you don't love it, mm. you know, so. How long have you been in the music game? Um, the music game, it's been about three years now mm-hmm. that I've, you know, gone full out career mode into it. Um, mm-hmm. But I've been singing almost my whole life. Um, I started when I was maybe six or seven years old. Um, mm. And I uh, used to sing for my church. So I started off with right. that. And then um, middle school, I went and joined choir. And um, my eighth grade year, I actually had gone in a solo. And um, it we I was to the song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Uh-huh. So I had the beginning mm-hmm. solo for it. And um, when I did it, I was like, oh, it felt so good that I was like, I think this is what I'm going to do, you know. So Let's then go. and then just going into high school, I met a lot of people that just so happened to be doing music and they had their own home studios at home. So we mm-hmm. would just mess around with it and, you know, just progress. And then finally met my fiance and, you know, he writes music and freestyles and stuff. So we were just kind of, hey, let's, let's do this, you know, and it just. Three years was, ago, that- was that a big decision to like to make that leap? Like, all right, I'm gonna pursue music full time. Go all, go all in. Oh yeah, yeah. Because initially, what was when we- what was your thought process going into some like a big decision like that? Oh, uh, it was scary. It's mm-hmm. it's really scary because you know, um, I mean, realistically, the music game is just it's a really hard industry. So facts. It you know it's yeah it's, it's a too. doggy yeah. doggy dog yeah. world. You know that it's hard. You know so and you know me it's it's you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to really put yourself out there, you know, be vulnerable and just let people see who you are. And, um, I was still kind of in that phase of like, oh, I'm very shy. I mean, I've always been really shy. So it's just was really a huge transition for me. But, um, mm-hmm. after we had our kids, that's when we were like, Nope, we're going to do this. Like, you know, cause we've always talked about it. We've written music, you know, mm-hmm. and we're just kind of like, well, what are we, what are we going to do just with put it? it out there? Yeah. Man. So we're like, why not? Let's just, you know what? Let's do it. So we just kind of set our mind there and we were like, mm-hmm. that's it. We're doing it. We're going full out. Whatever happens, happens. You know, if we don't make it, at least we can say we did it. You know, we tried of and course. made it as far as we come. And then, you know, three that, years later, I've, I've accomplished so much already and I feel good. Like, and that was, the, that was probably the hardest step is like, all right, committing, committing to it yes. and be like, all right, this is my thing. I'm going yes. full speed ahead. Yeah. And like, that's, that's a big step of, that's a big step. Not a lot of people are willing to take. Yeah. And a lot of people will like, you know, they do, they, they're a performer, they're an artist, but then they don't, they're not willing to take that extra leap. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, that says something right there. Just like you're willing to go that mm-hmm. far. Yeah. No, it it's hard. I mean, even to this day, I still kind of bat- fight with myself yeah. you know i will fight with my insecurities or wow. fight do like so it's just a that, like, daily battle syndrome. we talked about that before imposter syndrome Dude, I, and i honestly insecure feel like, about what you do yeah no i feel like i i feel like you're me mm-hmm. like no seriously you're everything you're saying is exactly how i feel yeah yeah i mean no, i'm not don't look at me all weird you said <laughs> i'm not her i'm not a <laughs> Niall, you get what i'm saying i, no, I, I do because i know you. the asshole of the show <laughs> he always tries to clown me see <laughs> Man, this guy Look, really does fun of me. Like, he's just <laughs> mean to me. Oh, he says, man. Julian, fetch me some water. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's all for love. It's tough. It's tough love. No, no, but no, no, seriously. I like yeah. totally understand everything that you're saying. Yeah, it's hard. You know, it's hard. It's, and you know, it's, but it's okay. That's one thing that I've always 
like really try to tell myself and that it's okay you mm -hmm. know that no matter what how we feel about this we may be fa battling with each other but at the end of the day as long as you feel good about it as long as you're happy about it then you know it it, it shows you mm -hmm. know it, then everyone can see that that you're happy that you're like oh she's doing this she loves to do it because it really just shows but then if you have insecurities then obviously people are going to see it you know so that's right. why it's it's hard and that's why you have to just kind of let all your vulnerability out mm -hmm. because because of that you know but here's the thing and tell me if i'm wrong but i feel like like the most vulnerable people are the ones that also you know win like people like that authenticity you know what mm -hmm. i mean you know what i mean so yeah. I, I think that in a way you can you know i guess kind of play it to your advantage yeah it, it's a good thing meaning like like for for at least for me i would gravitate to that more than someone mm -hmm. that puts on a facade yeah you know what i mean like like niall knows without naming names i hate these artists some of these artists that Ooh, that put on a facade of things that they have or things that they pretend that they have and music that they don't even, you know what I mean? Like just, just a very like, like there's just a very like superficial feel that, that I get from not only the music, but behind the scenes. So anyway, long story short, I was just going to say that I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Niall? Yeah, no, I completely agree. I mean, that's how you gain fan bases, you know, being vulnerable, being yourself, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, beyond the music, like just them knowing you as a person, mm -hmm. that's what, I mean, that's how I became, you know, fans of, you know, artists is that sure. you know, are they a good person to me, you know? And then if their music's okay, like, you know, I'll still support. But if their music's really good and they're a good person, it's like, yo, there's not a lot out there like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's special is about, okay, yeah, you're in an industry that's like so competitive. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to be like a genuine person and like to have love for your craft and like just being secure with yourself, I mean... Yeah, you can't compare that. It's you know, it's crazy too because not that long ago to succeed in like music, especially but any art form, you there was a lot of uh, stress on like a persona and mm -hmm. like the opposite of what we're saying of like a yes. lack of authenticity. Yeah. Like, oh, this is your right. image. This is who we want everyone to view you as. Right. Mm -hmm. And now I think especially mostly just because of the internet. Right. People are like, no, I want to see they people want to see the real version of you. That's why things like YouTube. And like vlogs and things because yes. these are just regular people but people right. connect more to that you so did right. on oh, yeah. like we want to see ourselves in that person in some way mm -hmm. right you know what i mean like if you want to talk about real like takashi he is the epitome of someone that's extremely like authentic so that's, and real that's twice you know, yep so completely <laughs> <laughs> i'm being entirely i'm keeping track now I'm being, thank I'm, you justo <laughs> thank you he makes me like i'm crazy i'm being sarcastic so 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 let's talk about the musical quick uh you dub it as hyphy pop yes okay so i love that that title that name i of, told like, her this genre. on the ig like, that's live. cool i've never heard that before until you. you thank that's you it's really cool yeah. do you like um when you are like putting your music let's say it's like on itunes like you know like your personal itunes do you go in genre and change it to hyphy pop um i mean yeah if i yes i, I would love to right now i'm still in like, the i mean like totally process. yeah i'm like i'm still in the transitioning process um but i am definitely trying to make myself known for hyphy pop Word. for sure Word. um so yeah i think once i release more music then i'll be able to like really kind how of... how would you define it um you know i, I grew up in the bay area no it's just like I, we like I, we all know no, cool. pop music we all know hyphy music but what is yeah. it about the two that that's able to like um it's together? honestly it's all about like that where the hyphy comes from is just all about the energy the feeling mm. the beat just all of it but then pop gives it that lyrical aspect of it that difference into mm -hmm. it then you know because mm -hmm. it's not just rapping you know it's singing in just a whole different mindset you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. so i think that um for people that don't live in the bay area um they're not blessed to to just like kind of get a, a vibe of what the culture is about you know what i mean like um and correct me if i'm wrong but there's just so many different like everyone from different ethnic backgrounds we all kind of kind of get along mm -hmm. it's kind of like a melting pot of cultures and that kind of mm -hmm. bleeds into the music and just the fabric of everything so hyphy is like i think i told you like last week it's to me it's like attitude right mm -hmm. keezy shout out to keezy remember he was saying in the beginning yeah. hyphy was like derogatory man you're too hyphy right now man you got to get in my car you're too hyphy but then right. it turned into like you know what like this movement like a turn up mm -hmm. right you know? yeah. yeah right mm -hmm. so kind of like you know every city has its own well most big cities have its own culture. Like right. Chicago has the drill, right? It's no different than the Bay Area and hyphy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. right. Well, and I think it's appropriate because she's from the Bay. So, yeah. like, it would be hella weird if she was, like, from Kansas calling it, like... See, you right. said it. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like, you've only yeah. been in the Bay how long? 
Um, two years? One year? Two years. Yeah. He said hella. Hella. It's catching Ooh. on. I mean, I've been it's saying hella. It's catching I've been you? saying hella. But yeah, I was saying, yeah. You like, hella it. is like part of like normal, like vocabulary. I never have. Now. I'm Out sure of here? I'm started in the Bay. But yeah, kid people no. all over people. In Arizona, were people saying hella? Yeah. No. Yes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm because saying you're I, wrong. I, you know, I, <laughs> where the, I go to New York and people yeah. are like, what the hell is hell? Exactly. Say, hell? I was going to say the same thing. When I went to yeah. New York, people looked at me like, oh, yeah, you're from California, huh? They're like, right. there you go. Right. Like, no. People in New York are like, get the f*** out of here. You well, know Arizona what I mean? Arizona is a melting <laughs> pot, too. Get the f*** so. out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, New York, that's a whole different flavor. Over a, there, yeah, I don't know. for sure. Speaking of culture real quick, you got to go to Boston. Every stereotype. Boston. Oh, my God. They will Boston. like, they will honk at you. They will roll down the window <laughs> and threaten your life if Pop. you're driving like, if you're not driving at least 70. Wow. Like, I had my life threatened probably like, like five times too. coming out the airport. <gasps> Oh my god! It's like yeah, that here too. I can't go more. Out I can't the airport? Go s- yes, out the airport. Dang. Yeah, I was driving out the airport. They're like, you know, they're like, speed up, you know, speed up, speed up. What are you doing? You know what I mean? What are you Asian? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> they did not tell you that. Damn. No, well, I made that. I made that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm about to I'm say. Over I mean, it's believable, like, but <laughs> <laughs> I want to confirm. <laughs> but yeah, man. So I, I actually appreciate the different like experiences and culture when you travel to different cities, but. I mean, there's no better place to be here, man. It's mm-hmm. it's a blessing, and I'm not just saying that because we live here. It's mm-hmm. just, uh, you know, it, it's it's really cool. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. hey, can you share one of your like experiences? Maybe one of the because you were talking about just a moments ago, one of the biggest like uh, hurdles you've had. Are you are you are you cool with sharing? Maybe like an experience you've had, one of the toughest, maybe like a struggle. Yeah. Um. Maybe like a win. Maybe an L. I don't know. Ah oh, man, let me think. Because there are no L's. Yeah. It's all a learning experience, right? Yeah, for sure. I got that um, from him. <laughs> L, L is for learning, not losing. L is yep. for learning. See, yes. See, we're just, man, we're so quick. Bam. That's a t-shirt right there. That's yeah. a t-shirt. L we're is gonna put for that learning. <laughs> this is good, bro. <laughs> this guy, man. We're gonna sell. We're gonna sell that in like two months. You Keep guys an eye just out. making us look good. All right. <laughs> uh, one of my struggles. Let me think. Um, well, L like learning. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's a big, like a major lesson you've learned since you've gone full time? I guess there's another way of looking at it. Uh, it's a hard one, huh? That's a tough it ass is. question. Like, <laughs> hey, so when's the last time you it, lost like, in life? Yeah. Have you? <laughs> you know, I don't I try know. to think about it. I got a, li- I got a I, list. I wanted to ask this. How about like being a woman in the game? How has that worked out? Oh, um, you know, For honestly, no. I, yeah, I can kind of, I can kind of pitch in with that. So mm. initially, because I do pop music, mm-hmm. so and the Bay Area is. I mean, just mainly hip hop, R and B. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of been one of the biggest things for mm-hmm. me out here, because you know, it's just it's always been about like trying to reach out to people and see if they take the chance to listen mm-hmm. to your song. Mm-hmm. You know. So that's just kind of been the biggest struggle, um, especially as a female, because you know, a lot of the times, like they just don't really want to give you the chance. Mm-hmm. Um. So I think that's just been one of the biggest, one of the biggest things. But like, you just gotta have that mindset of like, I don't give a. F-. On, like, to, <laughs> on to the next one. Yeah, like you know what? I'm gonna just keep pushing. Somebody will like it. I know somebody. I'll keep reaching out. Whatever. Uh, I think that's where like where you come from, like keying, the, like using the word like hyphy pop, something that no one else really mm-hmm. uses. I think you you know really sets you apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So being different is a big deal in any sort of art form. Yeah. And I think that's a really good like lane you chose Mm -hmm. like choosing something that no one else really says or you know really Mm -hmm. knows about and it's funny because that's actually my like brand statement is be different yeah so you you know that i'm very pro that you know because it's just i feel like a lot of people don't i mean as much as people say that they see a lot of diversity and all of that they still find ways to kind of push it away so you know people get scared to Mm be able to be themselves and be different and mm. be open about it. So, it's, you know, it's scary. It is. To it like is. Be your, like, it sounds like simple, but like, Oh, be yourself. Like, oh, I don't want to be myself. Like, That's right. terrifying. What does that look like? Right. How are I people going to accept no me? Look, yeah. No one wants to do that. You know, so I, <laughs> yeah. So I definitely really try to reach, reach into that more. And, you know, I, I mean, like me, I've always, I've always felt like I was different, you know, and growing up, I, I mean, I was always very quiet and very into my music, just kind of kept to myself. Mm-hmm. But then once I've kind of been able to open up, like I started doing a lot of things. I got piercings, I got tattoos, I started cutting my hair. Like I, there was one time I went short pixie and then started nice. dyeing it, doing all these different things to the point where I was like, 
this is this is this is what I like. This is who I am. And if you guys accept it, then so that's what's up. That's dope. But if you guys don't, then I mean, mm-hmm. who are you to tell me if you accept me or not? Because I do. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so badass. What is a win in the past three years, three and a half years for you? What is a win? W, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, we, we got an L. That's a lot. Where's a W? Oh, there's a lot. Okay. <laughs> like, I feel like this <laughs> that's past amazing. year has been just up, up and up and up and up. So, I, nice. you know, I got I got a feature. I had actually quite a few features with a lot of Bay Area artists that are well known here. Um, like Mr. Fab. Mr. Fab, one Saw of them. That. Um, yeah. HBK Skipper. Uh, I have Rappin' Forte, Roach Gigs. Wow. Um, Damn. Who else? <laughs> how did you but how do you are they are they reaching out to you or are you putting us off um putting you know uh, so the first one so before i got the feature with uh fab i actually um so i go to this producer he goes by jmo shout out jmo um so you know i've been going with him for a while and um you know so i've been you know just getting better with him and then eventually uh he hit me up and he said, hey, there's this rapper that um, is doing a song with certain artists. They mm. need a female feature. Or if you're interested, I said, shoot, yeah, shoot it my way. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Um, so then, you know, he ended up sending me the song and then he ended up telling me, yeah, this feature is with Rapping Forte and um, Roach Gigs. And I was like, oh, my God, I listened to them growing up. So, you know, I was That's just cool. like, hell wow. to the fucking yes, let's do this. So, you know, um, I did the hook for them. And then after that, um, I became good friends with uh, the rapper. Um, he goes by Jack Rocks. Um, and then eventually he hit me up again and he was like, hey, I need you on another feature. This time it's HBK Skipper. And I was like, dude, yeah, let's do this. You know, so, so it's I all came- word of mouth, man. Yeah, it is. It so. is, you know, and it's, you know, if they like what they hear, if they, you know, they're willing to work with you more, you know, so I know I have a other a couple of other songs that I have with him um, that will be coming out soon. And then, um, yeah, after that, um, uh, I, I'm i with this company called Gager. Yeah. Um, and with them, I've been working with them for two years now. So everything's kind of been really good, you know, and, you know, they actually helped me out get uh, Fab's feature. And, you know, we were able to do that, got the video and. I mean, things just kind of sc- started skyrocketing after that. Yeah, so. just up, up, yeah. up. More people word. see you, probably. So you did a video with Mr. Fab? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. word. Shout out Dope yeah. Era, by the way. Yeah, He's got a clothing definitely. store, too, in word. Oakland called Dope Era brand. Yeah. Word. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Word. Yeah, man. Um, We're going to work on something, because, you know, I... Drake. We're going to work on something. What? Why you don't he think just I know Drake? Laughs all of a sudden. <laughs> why you? Why you? Why you? Why, it's got why, why to feature Juju. Why you? Yeah, yeah. It's got to feature Juju. It's got to be in the feature. Man, people don't know. Ninety nine Juju. That's my name. Anyway, nine, what I'm nine, saying nine, is, show. let me work free, on it, man. Ninety nine no. Juju. <laughs> I, I got some names in here, man. I got some names I in here. You, man. you were clowning me the other. I remember, like last episode, for having some people in my names. You know, you said I had Kanye in here, so why yeah, can't I have Drake? Logic in his DMs. He's DM Logic. Yo, congrats. I do have. I do have Logic. Yo, I know Logic. You DM and Logic first. Bro, I got, before we get, it's not about me, it's about her, but I got Logic and I got Lindsay Lohan, so there. Lindsay Lohan? Lindsay Lohan? Lindsay Lohan? Bro. I'm hella random. If you don't have, get Lindsay Lohan on this podcast ASAP, for real. be hella mad. Well, I want to know where she's been. Well, I kind of <laughs> yeah, snuck her number. I don't really know her. That's why I kind of prank call her every, <laughs> every now and then. I be calling her, and like at 3 a.m., she'd be like, hello, and then I, I, and I click. <laughs> just to hear her voice, and you're it's just, her. You're just breathing. <sighs> Bro, a no. listener? <laughs> yeah, no, I've done that. A listener from an old radio station gave me her number. I didn't believe it. And I called it one time at 3 a.m. Hello. It's like that drunk voice, you know, that Lynn, and she sounds kind of like a dude. It was her. Oh my I, God. I hit click. Bullshit. The worst. Yes. I'll show it to you later after the pad, after the podcast. Right, I, I can't believe yeah, a word need, you said. I need to. <laughs> we all need to confirm this after. Believe it. Yeah. We're going to call it too. Believe it. Anyway, I brought up the whole Drake thing because he dropped that new video, mm-hmm. right? Want to get everyone's thoughts on it. Uh, what is it? Laugh now, cry later? Right. What'd y'all think? Who saw it? I saw it. I, I did too. I watched it a bunch of times. Shout out to KD, by the way. A bunch of cameos in it. Yeah. Um, what do y'all think, man? I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sure you guys have a lot to say about it. I A lot of people are going in saying, oh, this is BS. You know, it's just an ad for Nike. In my in my mind, who cares? What about the song? And I don't aren't, care. Aren't music, most music videos kind of ads for something anyway? Um, uh, it depends. I a mean, lot of big ones I are, mean, right? you can, I, in this video, yeah, you can definitely tell that. Sure. You know, that was straight Nike. But I mean, I, 
Hey, if I had a fat ass deal with Nike, I would have been like, <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, let me do this too. Right. Oh, I don't care. Of course. Oh, Nike Let's everywhere. go to the employee store. Yeah, it was, yeah, I mean, it definitely was overly excessive with the Nike. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. hey, I liked it. I liked the fits. I thought it was cool. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's Nike. I mean, they, they can't lose. Right. At this point. So. What do you think about really? the song? The song was cool. The song was cool. Uh, I, I mean, Drake. I mean, it's a good song. I feel it's, like you have a real just, like love hate relationship with. Drake. It's a love hate. It's like I'm, yeah. I'm really tired of Drake. Uh-huh. <laughs> Honestly, why? Because he keeps winning. Like yeah. I don't know. Like I'm like, yo, you. But just but then he comes out with here too long. See, like but, he comes out with something. But he keeps you're like, making oh, yeah. hits. Like he keeps making hits. So I can't even be mad at him. Like but no. But you know what bothers me about that though is that he's making hits out of other people's sound. Yeah. That's what gets. That's what bothers what me. What sound is this from yeah. Drake? Like the like okay the most recent one that he did with um. DJ Khaled, he sounded straight up like The Weeknd. Like a lot of people, oh, you know what shoot. I mean? I only you heard wait, that you mean once. wait, you mean rock star, pop star, pop star, pop star? Yeah, I'm a pop That's star. Song? No, 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 no. It wasn't pop star. It was the uh, what was the other one? Grease. Grease. I didn't even hear okay. that one. Yeah, this straight up like The Weeknd. And then there was other times where you know he sounded like Party Next Door. And then there was other ones where he, like so he just he, he you can tell that he's just taking like other people's sound. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't know. I like I like Drake. Like I mm. like his, We all do. That's what I'm saying. Cool. It's like, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like I'm not hating. Like I'm not and hating. He makes a good song. I'm like, not sh- hating. You get your bread, but it's just kind of like, damn, just be more original. You know what I'm saying? Like you got you 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 well, got you've come so far. Like just so well, you guys are the musicologists in this game. Like you like that word? Um, <laughs> nice. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Anyway, um, audio what, file is another word. What is the so? What is the secret sauce that he's doing? Because you guys are, you know, if he's sounding like other artists or what have you, then what? It, what is it? There's something obviously that's unique that he's doing. Is it the way he's saying, "Baby"? For example, I mean, that's a meme, right? I mean, now I've been is. watching that video. Just I don't know. I, but you honestly, get you get what I'm saying. That became such a. I mean, no, I, I can see why it, could be, it became a meme, but I'm yeah. like... He <laughs> creates moments. What, like, what do you think that is? Like, what is he doing? He's, you know, ca- he's catching the female's attention. Boom. It's a boom. I don't know. That's all I, I mean, got. That's, 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 yeah, that's our was... problem. You need to do more uh, thirst traps. There you thirst go. Thirst traps? Right. Yeah. You need more thirst traps. Baby. Right. Baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but but you get what I'm saying, Vicky? Like, yeah. like it's like no other artist can do that, and that it's a meme. But it happens all the time with the stuff that he does. Oh, yeah. well, what is it? A well, lot of it is his own hype too, just because he's Drake doing a thing. Yeah. So people are like, "Oh yeah, that little thing that someone caught is funny," and then it just kind of spread. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, he's just Drake. Like, <laughs> like I mean, there is some unique. There's uniqueness to Drake. Like, I mean, just him being him. Now, of course, he does bite other sounds, but the thing is, like, if that if that was the original, if there was an original sound, he probably made it better. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I like this, but yeah. when I do this, it's yeah. going to make it pop. Oh, and also, I'm Drake. Like, that's what it is. Oh, <laughs> well, you know? yeah, no, yeah. You know, like, so, I mean, and then the, the whole baby thing is like, it's different. Like, when you talk about hook, like, baby, like, it's, you know what I mean? But like, you get of course, the vibe is just mean. so, it's just catchy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's Drake. Like, it's just, he can't miss when it comes to music. He just knows how to make good music. He's got a good team around him. He's Drake. Uh, and again, oh, he's Drake. I don't know. What else. I don't know what else. <laughs> like you, yeah, know like. Think about it. And then what? What you guys? What you said earlier about him kind of biting off other people's styles. But then isn't there? A, what's the difference between kind of stealing elements of other people's songs, but then or taking influence from? Because every artist takes influences Influence, from yeah. other people, For sure. right? So what's the difference between being influenced or and kind of like biting off of them or stealing mm. from them? Uh, it's kind of it's a fine line, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, I just think about that KMT song that. X triple uh, X accused him of ripping. If you remember that, that was like when he first got into it, he was mm. like, you know, Drake stole my, Drake stole my swag. He stole my flow, mm. you know, with that KMT song. Do you know what I'm talking about? Triple X, 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 X Listen, I mean, we spend all day of like, oh, yeah. this is stealing, and this is okay. That's inspiration. Mm. So, I mean, I guess it just depends. I, I think going back to what you said, I mean, do you guys agree? You guys are the musicians, but I mean, he's he's taking influence and just making it better. Yeah. And not everyone can do that, right? You know what I mean? Right. Um, I don't know if you guys care, but I mean, I thought it was cool. It's kind of nostalgic. He was rocking to uh, LeBron's 2003 uh, draft suit. You know that that suit that was rocking. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because he's a big. You know, he's is that when they were taking pictures? He was is he was uh in a scene with Dirk you know he's in a bunch right, of right but they were taking pictures right yeah, yeah, it was I think like so. 
Okay. I had no idea. Oh, okay. You guys care about the girl that was in it? She was super hot, huh? <laughs> what? I no, she's, she was pretty. Girl. She's she hot as shit. She was definitely pretty. Yes. Fuck yeah. Her name is Aggie Abby. She's a sneakerhead I influencer. Knew, I knew you of would course know who you would it was. know. I, I yeah. was about to say that. Of course, of course I got a creep. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be normal. Bro, you're not a real man unless you creep. Come on, man. Anyone that doesn't say that shit, they're lying. There's another t shirt. I mean, if you're single, then yes. I would no, it doesn't matter if you're single. That This whole different podcast. Save that oh, for next man. week. It does not matter if you're single. Dude, you're not I didn't cheating. creep that girl. Niall, you're an anomaly. You're an anomaly. What I'm saying is like, if you're in a relationship and you're looking at, if you're just, you're just curious, looking at Sometimes, another girl. For sure. It like, it depends on like what it is. But if it's like, Niall, like a video girl. Niall, we're looking at a video girl right now. Uh-huh. You, it's harmless. Just be like, hmm, who is this? I just Google, who's the girl, which is exactly what I did. Who's the girl in the new Drake video? Her name is Aggie Abby. Boom, 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 boom. This is who she is. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong Nikki, with that at all. you're the girl. It, what, is that creepy? No. Cause I mean I do it. Yeah, she does <laughs> it. She's a girl. <laughs> if I see the file, you know, if I, I'm like, oh, she's just curious. Out. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Typing in, who's Why that not? girl from the one video? I will go and if I see the bio and it says her Instagram, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll put it in Instagram. But I'm not about to Google like, what's the girl with the blue shoes and da, da, da. I'm like, nah, well, nah, you need, well, you need to. You need to start. I'm gonna start doing it. <laughs> Come over to my house. I'll show you my search. <laughs> I'm oh, sure there's God. a whole way to get it. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's got a whole process ready. Um, <laughs> God, you, you couldn't pay me to look at your search history. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, you should be wanting to do it anyway. What if they pay you? There's not an, I'm saying, like, no matter what amount, even if you paid me, I wouldn't look at your search Just history. Just so? That's what I'm saying. WAP. 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 So I'm going to say. That's all over your search, search history, WAP. right? That's all I got. <laughs> WAP. Uh, the backlash. Do you guys know about the backlash? Actually, Niall, you brought this up, actually. Uh, yeah. What did I bring up? You brought up the backlash. You said when we were on the phone the other day, talk about it. Got it. Backlash. Um, okay. A lot of people are really sensitive. Uh, yeah. People, um, okay. Uh, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's what, a lot what, to what touch on. They're mad. They're saying that it's a, well, they're, exploitative yeah, words, a all that. So people are saying, you know, how it's, you know, not good. It's for a bad example. Growing youth. In uh, listening to their music, right, right. Um, yeah. what's the limit? You know, and I, you know, a lot of people they bring up, you know, okay, male rappers do it all the time. Is this one's kind of like all over the place? Um, I think I'm just annoyed that. Well, okay, I, she she dropped the video, and then I saw her talking to Joe Biden. I was like, <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm not about to watch this WAP video. And then you think I'm going to take you serious enough to talk to possibly the next president? I'm not going to do Nikki, it. Nikki, I'm not going to do it. As a woman, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's a bad example? Is it a, you take it with a grain of salt? Is it really is it really that serious? Uh, you know, to be honest, I I've thought a lot about it. Um, I mean, there's it's there's good and there's bad to it. You mm -hmm. know, like obviously, you know, it's it's showing something completely just off the charts for the youth nowadays. And I, you know, I don't agree with that. You know, like I don't I don't I wouldn't want to see my child growing up and like seeing this but i mean realistically it, right do you know what i mean but at the same time you know that's just i mean that's just who she is I yeah mean, that's that's hard to be like if you if you're really gonna get upset because she made a song about who she is as a person in general yeah like i mean come on just i agree like slap yourself in the face like i mean she's she flaunt she that i mean that's what everybody she's a sex symbol she puts herself out as a yeah. sex symbol. Mm -hmm. She's always been upfront about it, never been ashamed to show it. And I mean, obviously with this song, yes, it went to the whole extreme level. But I mean, initially it's kind of like, come on, you expected that from her, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, it is what You're, it is. We're not going to get like Nas lyrics from Cardi B or hieroglyphics oh, from the 90s. Right. You get what I'm saying? I, I get it. it. But but it's it's an, like... Tell me if I'm wrong, but it's like it's like what you call like a vibe, right? It's an anthem track. It's a track like for women. She says she's unfiltered, just like Vicky was saying. She is who she is. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And people like at the end of the day, people resonate with her. A yeah, lot. It's number obviously, one. Obviously, they they for are. Sure. And yeah, dude, we <laughs> this is Wednesday. We're taping this Wednesday, and mm. she just went on Twitter. I think yesterday, and it is number one, which is like huge. I think something to the effect of it's like the first number one song that. It smashed all these records in, in the shortest amount of time, something mm. along those lines, mm. which is big for female artists or just in general. Mm. So obviously enough people are messing with her and, you know, she has a, I mean, she's got her base. That's really what it is. Yeah. You're not going to go to her for these like, like, you know, introspective lyrics. I get it. Yeah. That's why I'm like, why is she talking to Joe Biden? I, I keep, I keep jumping back there. <laughs> Let's talk about I just, that real quick. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay.
So we'll talk about it real quick. They're on the issue of – stop me real quick. Give me a second. On L Magazine, Cardi B and Joe Biden. Again, it is what it is. I'm not the political guy. I'm not that smart. I'm not that deep. But I, I'm just going to say I think it's a. It's like a, they, everyone has agendas. Biden wants to be cool, you know, with that audience that Cardi B has. Cardi B wants to – I'm not quite sure. Maybe you can answer that question. I, I guess she wants – did she, did she want to come off smarter than she really is? Or what? Is it a political play? Uh, both. Man. Both. Yeah. Uh, I, would just, I would say both. I mean, also drive traffic to her next song, next album, you know. But I just think, well, we were just talking about like, oh, you know, that's her lane, right? Like, so that's her. She's a sex symbol. Da, da, da. She, you won't expect her. You won't get inter, you know, inter whatever Nas lyrics in her no. music, right? You know, but she's also like jumping in this lane, trying to have an intelligent conversation with uh you know a possible president you know a president you know so it's like stick your lane like make your You're right make the stripper anthems yes. cool but like we're not gonna take you seriously you, if you jump in this lane but you know what i have seen a couple like previous posts like you know probably throughout the years where she does you know throw out little political things about the government mm-hmm. and you know so i mean i i see i see what she's trying to do but i i agree like i just feel like you know you just kind of should stick to your lane yeah well i just think i mean in general i think when it comes to politics celebrities should just like stay being celebrities and like just leave it alone because they're not mm-hmm. there's people that are actually scholars that know what they're talking <laughs> yeah, about right you know what i mean like, so you're, she, talked, you're, she talked to bernie sanders last year i'm like why are you talking to bernie sanders? bernie sanders what are you doing and we all know like okay whenever they talk to rappers they're trying to get black people to vote for them right just straight up right last year or two years ago it was hillary clinton talking to breakfast club and she made this go oh i got hot sauce in my bag that, that was but, a joke though Give nah, her a pat. that was a kind I of laying it off hell no nah. that's you, a pander were you mad about it i was offended okay well that I was offended. offended too i had to stop i had to stop putting hot sauce in my bag but okay <laughs> but in all seriousness not to harp on it too much but it was kind of a joke can you like pander but make it like Kind of like, hey, I'm just trying to be cool with you. You know what I get, mean? I get, I get, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, but then you know, sometimes, you know, people do take offense to that. All right, you know, some people, yeah, are, more, man, some people are more sensitive than Sorry, others. Guys. You know, yeah, man, right, you know, I'm not as hardcore she, as you. I, I, I just, you know, I, I agree with you. I think I would say like, nah, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I was gonna say. I, I do get what you're saying, but it's kind of like I attribute myself trying to talk about politics and you talking about politics. That's your lane, much much better than mine. You know what I mean? But uh-huh. at least I know my lane. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. I should try to get yeah. myself talking to something that I know nothing about. Right, for sure. If like someone said, "Hey, Julian, like, would you want to interview Joe Biden?" Yes. <sighs> I guess, oh, I you're guess. gonna stop. You know me that would make sense. I, so you're- that would make sense because you're because <laughs> you talk, and I'm sure you would do your homework, and also like you would talk, you know, for your group of people, and I don't know why, you know. You know, Cardi B was like, "Black people, all we want is equality." What are you talking about? Like, you're a spokesperson for black people. Like, I don't get, I don't get that. So, anyways, she's I don't want to die too by deep. the culture, Nile. Right. She's married to Quavo. Ah, right, right. Got it. Got I don't know what all that means. I'm just letting you know something. Yeah, yeah. You tell me. You got it. But she is accepted by the culture. Sure. Wait, hold yeah. on. She's not married to Quavo. She's not married to Offset. Oh, is it all set? Yeah, Quavo's, Quavo's yeah. with Don't Sweetie. Don't let Sweetie find out. I think you know, I'm sorry, I got mixed up. My bad. Thank sorry you for that. correcting him on that. <laughs> oh, they both sound the same. I was like, not over. that doesn't sound right. Like. My bad. <laughs> well, you know what? I was testing you. <laughs> okay. That was a hip-hop test. We were about to do it. You passed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This is this is Dumbass University. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know Dumbass University? We have a game called Dumbass University. We'll save that next time. Well, for sure, for sure, for we'll sure. save that next time. But I don't want like think I'm calling her a dumbass. Like, no, oh, no, no. It's a game that we play. Yeah, for prizes. Yeah, like trivia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For prizes. There's no prize. There's no prize. I was trying to hide. Why are you? Only prize. Trying to hide. Trying to hide. The only prize is Julian's. I don't want her to think we don't have. I don't want her to think we don't got no prizes. We're a professional podcast. But then you make it sound like we just give each other prizes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like even more weird. It's like here you go. Like I don't want your shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I need to. I would need to see this game show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Do we? Do uh, we got it. We got it. Next time. Next time. We, we, we got like two, three more interview. topics, man. Do we have time to talk about Trey songs or no? For what sure. do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This just broke. Trey songs. Uh, did, did you guys know who Selena Powell is? No. Okay, Selena Powell. Oh, I do know Selena Powell. Selena Powell is. You want to say it or me? I don't know the story, but I. Okay. Oh, you know who she is? Selena Powell basically oh. is a thought. She she basically <laughs> basically she's a thought. Oh, she dang. bangs she bangs oh. artists like she just chases guys and she basically tries to get them into traps. She tries to trap them for money. She tries to do it for the clout. You know what I mean? That's who uh-huh. she is. Her name is Selena Powell. She's out of Denver, you right? Probably no. You know her. of her because last year, like Cardi B, Cardi B, she she uh slept with Offset. 
like two oh, years is that, ago. Is that the one that, the girl that outfit she was, cheated yes. on Cardi B? With? I mean, he cheated he cheated on, cheated on with a lot of women. Yeah. But this girl said that she was pregnant with Offset's baby. Oh, I heard that. I yeah, didn't that's know that. the girl. Oh, that's okay. her. That's her. I haven't seen. I don't know. Her and she face lied face. about it. She was not pregnant. She had pictures of her friend's pregnancy. Uh, wow. Graphs, yeah, and then she was put on Instagram. Yeah, her friend, and then. She was, but she people, got all that man, clout shit though. People do. That's yeah. ridiculous. Now here's the thing. So her, she went on No Jumper, the No Jumper podcast recently, and she brought her friend, her thotty friend. I don't know her name. Her thotty friend, right? So they. Friend. But I just want you to understand the. We ain't never gonna get girl subscribers. Well, <laughs> she ain't a lawyer. She ain't a doctor. Like she would, they would call themselves thoughts. I'm just calling. I'm just calling them what they call themselves. I'm sorry. Right, right, right. So gotcha. anyway, <laughs> so so so. All right, she allowed. Fuck it. If they call them, if that's what they call themselves, then. <laughs> so Vicky, her friend okay. gets on the podcast and she basically she outs Trey Trey Songs. She goes Trey Songs locked her, but she said it like, here's the thing, and it started trending because they said, oh Trey Song, you know Trey Songs needs to be a, you know arrested for assault. Her, Selena Powell's friend is on the podcast publicly saying that Trey Songs locked her in the hotel room. And basically, they had sex for like three days straight, right? And he, thank God, this is a podcast. He peed on her. But but here's the thing. But Vicky, you have to watch the podcast because she she did it giggling. She really Was it did. The she friend did it. or Selena saying this? Selena's friend. So it's two of them on the podcast, and she's like he, and then he told me to go to the bathtub. He and you know she did it in a like maybe she meant to be serious, but it didn't come off serious. And now he's trending everywhere, saying he needs to be canceled. You get what I'm saying? Oh so my God. it's a weird situation. Like, you know, you obviously should never do that to a female, right? That's that's entirely wrong. You know, you don't lock it. Yes, I get that. But it, it's, it's weird because it's coming from. You already know what I'm thinking, Jess, though. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, Some people really dig that. I have a friend of mine, him and his girlfriend would pee each other. Ew, that, are you serious? Yeah, 100%. I've heard about that. He too. would tell me Whoa. all about it and be like, I don't want to hear about it, but he would just keep telling me. But he also locked her. <laughs> Man, oh my God. All right, first yeah. of all, these are allegations. They're allegations. From what you call thoughts, okay? <laughs> thoughts that lie. She lied about Offset's pregnancy. You don't think. We're not talking she, about Selena, we're talking about Selena's friend. Oh, they. Look, man, flocks, two birds flock together. That's right. They're both thoughts. They both lie, okay? Vicky, what do you think? <laughs> like, just based off what we told you. Like, obviously, you got to take the, you know, the accusation seriously. No. But does it matter who it's coming from? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> no, I mean, but I, I agree. Okay, question. Has, I mean, has Trey Songs spoken about it? Yeah. What was he? What, what did he, what he, he was say? tweeting what did he say? about? He's, he he said he was tweeting about it. Yeah, he's what basically he he's basically denying it, saying they're doing it for Cloud. You know, money. Right. Okay, that's what that's what thoughts do. I so. mean, what money are they actually gonna get out of this? Like, Cloud. Yeah, more than this that. Girl, and that's what I'm saying. It's like it's not money. It's just it's Cloud attention. turns into money because they have OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, See, what I'm saying true. all that stuff. All <laughs> that it's gonna drop. People are gonna look up. Yeah. They're gonna try and find a sex tape of Trey Songs and her. That's horrible. Yeah. No, they're lying. I can put money on. Like, I mean, if you're gonna like, that's if. If that's some like if if you're going through something like that, if you're in a that because that seems like a traumatic situation, you know what I mean? Like if you're gonna talk about something like that that you don't that that's not something that you would want to do, right. like that to somebody that's a traumatic, right. well, that's a traumatic situation. Sure, you know For what sure. I mean. So obviously you're gonna not laugh about it. You're gonna honestly be scared to talk about it. But if you're gonna laugh, like yeah, not take it serious. I mean, how can you take yeah. it? Do you, you lose credibility points based off just like you said, who it's coming from? It's coming out of you yes. know, Selena Powell. Yeah, okay. For sure. There's got to be credibility, like, you know, depending on who's giving the story. She already has a bad track record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, she's going to bring her friend in. Come on. And yeah. The friend's going to, yeah. the friend, the the fr up. and the thing is, they're covering their bases because the friend's saying it, not Selena. So, if it goes to court, it's not like, I didn't say that. So, like, don't because th this is the thing. People can go to jail for saying for false accusations of rape. Like that's a thing. And if Trey Songs can prove, like, no, I got text messages saying, "Hey, lock the door for me" or whatever the hell crazy. Shit. Like he can prove that in court, and then boom, she's gonna get fined. She can go to jail. But her friends saying it, they can cover the bases. So they're gonna get their only only fan views. They're gonna get their clout. Obviously, they're getting their clout. People that don't know who Selena Powell is, you didn't know who she was, yeah. or at least maybe her name. Now you do. Boom, you're going to check her Instagram out. She's getting clout, endorsements, advertisements. Boom, that's money. Yeah. Like, well, so I, I, I haven't, look, it, the, the news just broke and we just started the podcast after it broke. So I don't know everything, but um, 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's going to be a good portion of people saying that. You're absolutely right. That's right. The, and people are mad about him locking the door. Obviously, not the peeing thing, because that people are into that. Yeah. Like, that's real. She seemed okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, like, I mean, if it's consensual, then f- do whatever the hell you want to do. But she's talking about he locked me and we had sex for three days. He, I was his sex slave for three days. That's pretty much what she's saying. I basically. mean, does, does she got videos? To prove it, I don't does know, she man. got like, so if you get one, let me know. I mean, does she got a record? <laughs> like, does she got like record? Does, do they have like? I mean, I'm pretty sure he can get out of it by showing. Hey, I didn't even have a hotel room on that day, on those mm, days. Mm, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't have records of this. I don't. I, I'm sure it happened. I'm sure they hooked up for you know, sure. Oh, I'm sure they right. banged. Why Trey Songz? Trey Songz? Why do that? <laughs> why do? Like, why? Like, she's literally known. Like, in De- she's in Denver. Like. All the rappers that go through there, like they smash her. Like that's like I'm, that's I'm not what she to, wants. I'm just saying, like no, the no. Trey songs. Like I don't know the whole background, but he does have a history. Uh, Kiki Palmer said this. This is a while back. She did say that. She said without saying basically that he sexually intimidated her. I don't know all the specifics. What yes, that? what do you mean sexually intimidated? Exactly. She didn't. This is on the Breakfast Club. Actually, well, she didn't go into the details. Yeah, I gotta look at it. But you, you see what I'm saying? Now this accusation now opens up the book. See, now we're opening up the book, and after this podcast is done, we're going to, for people like myself that don't know the whole, whole the full story, I'm going to look more into it. But you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I'm just saying, this is not the first time. I'm not saying he is or he isn't. I don't know. I, I just, I would need more words than sexually intimidated. Like, what does that mean? Like, in bed, like, she was like, I can't, I couldn't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> he, went too, he went too hard. Thanks. I told him stop. He was yeah, sexually yeah. intimidating. Like, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay. That's cool, man. Can we talk about like something personal real quick? Let's talk about, it's not even that personal. Can we talk <laughs> about like, because we never have a woman on the show besides myself. And <laughs> I just wanted to a- ask you because this is Niles dealing with this issue with DMing girls. Oh, fantastic. On, on IG. Are we going to yeah, get into this? Because this, yeah, this is great. I just want the I advice. Have. I just want the advice. Okay? I love it. For a friend, for a friend. For a friend. <laughs> I'm being entirely sarcastic. I'm asking for a friend. For a friend. So, Vicky, yes. assuming, I know you're not, but assuming you're single, just like, just from a girl's perspective, what is the right way? Because I'm dealing with a situation right now. What is the right way to DM a girl you don't know? And here's why, because to me, and tell me if I'm wrong, guys, I see no difference when bars and clubs are open, you go to the bar, you try to meet someone, you try to talk, you try to talk to them, strike up a conversation. Hey, can I buy you a drink, right? Yeah. Those days are gone, right? And I don't like doing that anyway, mm-hmm. right? So with social media, to me, it's no different. Like, what's the difference of being, of, of like tapping into someone's DM, be like, hey, you know, it's nice to meet you. How are you? Uh-huh. What is the right and wrong way? What are the right and wrong ways to, to approach someone you don't know on DM? Someone you just find attractive. Um, asking for a friend. <laughs> asking for a friend. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think just if you're, oh, man. <laughs> is that tough? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's hard to not to sound like a creep when you into. That's you what I'm saying. Yeah. But I dude, mean, if you're there, Because you're a stranger. Off the back. Are we really though? Social I mean, media. I thought social media brings us all together. It Some doesn't. people say. No, kinda, it pulls us apart. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate more people now. <laughs> I don't know who the person is, but I hate you. I'm gonna block. I you. mean, realistically, I think. Uh, let's just be honest, girls. If, if if a guy reaches out to a girl, the first thing she's gonna do is she's gonna look at your page. Right. Okay. Like. Word. Cool. You know what I mean? So it just kind of. I mean, you can. Me, I, I mean, I've, I would want somebody to be like, hey, how's it going? And, you know, I just want to reach out. I thought you're, I think you're really pretty. Um, but So someone just, that blunt doesn't I mean, freak just, you out. I mean, it just de- kind of depends on how they go. Because there's some really <laughs> nasty people out there that sure. are just kind of like, oh, my God, like, you hella fine. I want to yeah, do yeah. and shit. And yeah. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> no, like, you know, but yeah. there are people that are really weirdos out there that do that. Mm. Um, but I mean, you know, just if you're going to be just genuine about it, I mean, obviously if someone's like, oh, they think I'm pretty cool. Let me look at their page. Let me see what they're all about. Who is this? And I mean, realistically, from a girl's point of view, they're going to by what they see, they're going to determine whether they think you're cute. And if they think you're cute, they'll probably want to talk to you. And then uh, they want to see what you're all about. So just be normal with the line then. Yeah. Just be how, just be genuine. How about this? We talked about before. How about this? How about you take something that's like, you know, for example, this heat wave and you just DM them you just DM them be like, Man, how you doing? This heat wave is crazy, huh? <laughs> so that's you know how it's there may though. be people there you may be people that might respond to it. <laughs> okay, 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 you know, stop, that, stop, that stop. Open to that? Okay, let me let me change it. How about <laughs> man, it's hot. How you doing with this heat wave? It's crazy, huh? Crazy, huh? <laughs> it's crazy, huh? <laughs> I, hey, this I don't weather. Know, like 
I mean, if people, I don't, I don't use your responses. <laughs> DMs like that. That's so, so like, hey, did you see the game last night? Like, like one of those, first like, of all, who are you? Who are you? You act like we've been having a conversation. Yeah, but Niall, how do you get? How do you get over that, guys? How do you get over that? Who are you? Attitude. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. Just like introduce what she yourself said, first. Look, if if she if you are attractive to her, you could probably say A B C D E F G. <laughs> and if she, if, you, if she thinks you're attractive, <laughs> she'll finish the alphabet for you. Yeah, if she she'll be like, hot, uh, JK. Uh, <laughs> and she thinks you're hot. <laughs> and she thinks you're hot, That's she's going to tell she all her friends. Go. So it's really just like going to a bar or a club. It's the same shit. If you yeah, look good, basically. then they're going to peak interest. <laughs> she's going to tell all her friends, oh my God, he can do the alphabet. So, you know, for your friend, your friend you're yeah. asking about, yeah. tell him to get a professional fo- photographer. You know, hey. uh, maybe crop in really some pictures of Drake. Get some good angles, Stop. man. <laughs> just like the Instagram girls get do, Drake bro. on the side, guys, just like, <laughs> buddy Drake. Yeah, I'll take pictures of you, know, Julian, and just get, like the put Instagram Drake girls, right next to you. Guys need to do it too. Get the angles right. Your angles, man. It's all and about then when the they angles. meet you, it's too late. Your personality will just kill them. Like, oh my God, he's not that attractive. Super fit, man. Talking, <laughs> Julian, Julian's a good-looking guy. Okay, I'm not saying it's Julian. I'm talking about your friend. Yeah. Right. This whole thing is. This whole That's thing right. Is, this is for. This is for. Right. Yeah. Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole thing is sounds superficial as. Fuck. I mean, when you go through uh, social media, it kind of has to be. Right. Right. Because you're not there in person. Bro. Yeah. That's what connects us all. What are you talking about? I guess. Super, it does superficially connects. Yeah, exactly. qu- have you heard of this thing called quarantine? We're still in it. You know. That's that's where things get rough because now you can't meet people. You cannot be, meet people in person anymore. I really? always think, yeah. I mean, man, it must be rough for single people. Yeah. Like, damn. Thank God. Right. I think 10 years ago, it's much different than 10 years now. You know what I mean? Just like you said, it's just, yeah. I just think it's just so much more superficial now. 10 but years it, ago, it is... people were just sending emails. Yeah. If there was no Instagram. There was no. <laughs> right. There would AOL That's instant right. message people. Well, you had to do oh. it like more naturally. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, MSN. Anyway. Right. That was, those were the days. Yeah. Those I mean, your best days. bet is like just do DoorDash, man, and just hope. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, pizza's here. Hey, what? Hey, um, this That's heat funny. wave is crazy. Can right? I come in? <laughs> <laughs> DoorDash. All right, you're pushing it now. <laughs> That's funny. Every DoorDash, uh, dude, I I, I, it's always like an old Asian man delivering my food. Every No matter where hey, I go, you gotta get it's an old now. Asian. I'm just noticing. Every single place, doesn't matter where, it's an old Asian guy delivering through DoorDash, Uber Eats. You know, man, I, For you? Uh, yeah, for me. For real? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I've had a lot of the different like different kinds of people come up to my door. I think it's just a coincidence. It's the same dude. In the it's the same dude. Must be. You're in Hayward, right? He's, gr- he's grinding. <laughs> he's grinding, yeah. man. You're in Hayward, right? Yeah. So it's Filipino then. Oh, uh, maybe that's. Why. Uh, I, I know the deal. I, I know the deal. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, anyway, let's 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 talk about the music again. Okay. Um, please. No, not your music. <laughs> please. I'm tired of talking about peeing. <laughs> so, what do you think the best way? Like, do you have any advice? You know, as you grinded, the, you know, these past three years, any advice for people that are, you know, along the same path, including ourselves, mm-hmm. on building a brand? You know, is it collaborations? Mm-hmm. Is it? Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, hashtags. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hashtags. No. Um, no. It is. Yeah. It is about collaborating, networking with people. Um, ex- like it's all again stepping out of the comfort zone and reaching out to people like um like for me myself uh i have to uh, to me i reach out to djs and you know uh, mm. now that i have my show mm. it kind of makes it easier for me because now i'm like hey i'm reaching out to you guys We're wondering if you wanted to be a special guest on my show you know and i tell them what i do and then um majority of the time when that happens you know if they say yes then what they'll do is they'll look into my mm-hmm. they'll look into my page they look mm-hmm. into what I'm doing, who I am, as it's, you know, get the background. Right. And, then, you know, again, but it's all about whether they like you or not, if they like what they see, mm-hmm. you know. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, honestly, I think the biggest thing is just about pushing yourself out there and networking with people and, you know, just getting people to build, like, build a brand with you, mm-hmm. you know. I think it's cool what you do. You know, she does. Uh, I forgot what it's called on Wednesdays. Uh, it's called uh, Instagram Live. Okay. There you go. Easy enough. <laughs> oh, got it. Really? My Instagram live. Yeah, it's called well, it gauge so your Instagram it, live with Miss Vicky. So you so. do like oh, a show on your Instagram live? <laughs> I do. Oh cool. Yeah, and I gauge three artists and their music or their music videos. Um and I usually bring in special guests. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh let people know what your Instagram page is right now, real quick. What's up? What's your Instagram page? Oh, uh Miss Vicky Music. M I S S V I C K Y M U S I C. There we go. Damn. It's cool. Then you build <laughs> you gotta get that plug in there. Come on. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> some some people may spell it differently. So. Oh, got so it. I'm like, I gotta. 
<laughs> They're like, is it MS? Is it V I C K I? We'll like, tag it on here too. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll put it in the links below. It's right. Miss Vicky Music on all socials. Yes. Don't. And then if you just find me on um like our my music platforms, then it's just Miss Vicky. Do you, Do you have like an ultimate like uh, like an ultimate dream like ultimate goal? What you're looking to do? You know, so everyone has different goals, different thoughts. Yeah. You know? Honestly, I think if. I reach at least a, like my my just one of my main goals right now is if I can reach a thousand true fans, you know that's that's already big Same. enough for me. Wow, you know what I mean? That's a plat like yeah, that's just too. a good platform for me mm. already. Like they're true fans, they'll buy my merchandise. They're waiting for me to release new music. They're they want to see me perform live. You know that's that's one of the biggest deals for me. But I mean anything past that, that's just like that's and that's yeah. huge too, especially because like. It, a lot of it is the internet now because like all you really need is that one core audience even if it's not a million mm -hmm. people if you have your people which mm -hmm. is it's easier now with the internet and everything else to find your people yeah once mm -hmm. you have it then you can kind of you build know, off of it and build just off of continue that. yeah because then once yeah. it, with with those fans it's just all word of mouth a lot yeah, of people are gonna exactly. be like dude i listen to her i think she's hella dope you should check it out oh mm -hmm. yeah people and if they're rocking your merchandise you know like i've had i have somebody that um purchased one of my shirts and um she reached out to me and she was like dude every time i wear your shirt i always get like dope compliments off of it mm, they're always sweet. giving me your hand sign and i'm like and i'm just like that feels really good yeah. you know like mm. it just it's oh, man it's like an addicted addicting feeling yeah. you know so I it's bet. like I love that. I, that's I just, so cool yeah i always say if you just have like one or five or ten it's just a matter of time you just need to get more eyes and ears on mm -hmm. on what your what your brand is you yeah. know what i mean so that that's a that's a positive thing yeah, yeah. nile is there anything that that you is there similarities in her story in uh, regard yeah. to yours, is it? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, that's the goal is, I mean, a thousand, like, true fans, like, shoot, man, you can pay bills. You know you what can. I mean? Yeah, you definitely like, can. You know, I know, I mean, I can probably count, like, like I have, like, a good, like, 20, 30 people that, like, ride for me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. The mic didn't want Did to you hear disconnect me. the mic? The mic Shut up. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> the uh, mic say that again. I have, you know, I can, like, I for sure have like, you know, 20 people that like, no matter what, or no matter how long it takes me to get a project out, like they're always like, they're like, yo, I'm, I, you know. Yeah, you do so have a loyal following. You multiply that, like that's, you know, that's amazing. Like yeah. people that are automatically just buy your project as soon as it sure. drops, merchandise. And, and on top of that, they'll promote you. Like they're, they're willing to promote. Like as soon as you yeah. drop an album, they're, so quick to be like oh my gosh you just dropped an album they'll put their the picture of your album they'll mm -hmm. like they're on it and that's what's gonna bring more and more traction to you right. because they're they're willing to promote you right. does, does that tie into let me ask you this how important do you think likability like just actually fucking with the person how important do you think that is in this game oh 100 uh, percent. yeah, yeah. That, almost everything yeah Seriously. like to be honest yeah yeah i mean it's all about how they see you and how how they can relate to you you know so yeah. well, if they feel like oh their music i can relate to her with these songs or i can relate to her as a person or you know just that it just brings once 100 just yeah. you're likable right. it's it's a good it's a good that that's good that you said that because you know just like going to the going to the whole shy thing sometimes when if you don't know an artist right mm -hmm. and you have a meeting and i'm sure you guys can speak on that because you met celebrities you met celebrities have you ever met someone that look you can't, you can't really call them a dick, but if they're kind of standoffish and they're not like an extrovert, then it's for someone that doesn't know them, then it's kind of like, uh, I don't really know this person. Mm -hmm. Then you're less apt to really mess with them or buy whatever they're pushing. Oh, yeah. I Does mean, that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. I've met. I'm not going to give any names. You can. But it's I've okay. Met, no, I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <just kidding>. but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, when I, you know, when I met that person, um, I, you know, I was a big, huge fan. But then like after meeting them, I was just kind of turned off by the just by like mm. talking to them and it, they just weren't mm. giving me the, I they were just kind of giving me that like I'm too good like I'm too yep. up there and it's just it's I I don't like it like, sorry to cut just, you off there uh, I just, did you give them the benefit of the doubt though meaning was it like at a loud ass club and there was like 50 no, people no it was you personal get that's okay. that's the thing there was only a, a few of us so it was more personal you know I tried to make the conversation but they were just kind of like uh, yep. Yeah, I'll talk to you. You whenever, met the same person. But... I might have been. She saw my Vic Mensa. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh! I did no, a show with no, Vic no, no. Mensa, <laughs> and then after no I one knows who acts. And you know, I was like, "Hey, man!" You know, I show him like just like massive respect. Like, "Hey, man! So glad you did the show out here. You know, I appreciate your management team like putting put me on. You know, on the like you know 
opening open as an opener. You know, oh yeah, no problem. You know, he kept like looking. I'm like, yo. Yeah, if you can't even right look here. me in your eyes, I'm like, right bro, here. I don't okay. want to shake it. Also, yeah. if their handshake is weak as hell, I can't rock with you either. Okay. I can't speak on that because I wasn't there. Okay. I don't know him like that. I, I only hired him when he was in this group called Kids These Days years ago. He was, was like 18 or I kn- something. I know that. I will say this. He is extremely talented. I don't care what anyone says. He's extremely talented. Uh-huh. Again, I don't know him. He was respectful to me. He wasn't. Yeah, you're right. He wasn't like Vicky is. She wasn't. He wasn't like awesome. But maybe, and I'm not defending him, but maybe some people are just. That's just how they are. They're respectful. They shake your yeah. hand, and yeah, that goes a. Little, that that probably has been his biggest issue is the likability yes, factor. For sure, that's, that's why, why he's, he's not. Yeah, regardless, he's look. He's talented, but there's, his, he there's, is very there's, talented. There's unlimited talent. Unlimited talent anywhere. It's about who mm. you know and who they like. And usually, yeah. it's. For you to know that person, you gotta that person has to like you yeah. for who you are. Even if you might not be as talented as the next guy, but the, if the guy's super talented, but he's an asshole, yeah. like not you're not gonna go far. And we can see like Vic Mensa, he's yeah. been struggling with that because yeah. of my. I've just seen in my own personal yeah. experience. I can't imagine when yeah. he's touring everywhere else, he's meeting someone that could be a possible CEO, fan too, A and R, just anyone that could yeah. be somebody or not. Like you know, it's affected his career. Like mm-hmm. so that. Like what you see right now mm. is how you can probably judge his character. So you could be like, all right, I'm done getting the benefit of the doubt. He's, he's no comment on that. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> uh, how, how about an artist that you guys really mess with? Someone that you've met, Vicky? Someone that I've met? Yeah, someone that you met that, man, this, she's awesome or he's awesome. He's just as awesome. Mm. Or I, you, maybe you didn't know who they were or just heard about him. Be like, man, I really mess with that person. You know what I mean? Super cool. Mm. A lot cooler uh, than I ever thought. I like, uh, she's not an artist, but she's a comedian. Angela Johnson. Oh, she's from Oakland. Yeah, she's still, she's, she's from the Bay. She's Hilarious. Still, I actually met her in New York. Uh, I went out there and we were just walking around. It was my first time out there, and uh, I'm over here trying to find like where's the park. We're over here trying. You know, I was with my family. Mm-hmm. We we're and then all of a sudden we get to a stop, and I'm here looking at my phone, and everybody is like, "Vicky, look up!" And I'm like, "What?" Because she was one. She's one of my favorite comedians. Oh wow! So you she's know, hilarious. that's how you know. I was just like. I, I was out of words so I, I looked up and I was like what and I just looked at her for a quick second and I was like who is she like just for you know like just because I was like my mind was all over the place and then I really kind of clicked in and I was like oh my god you're Angela Johnson you're so awesome and she you know I guess she was doing a show out there and stuff so we, mm-hmm. we were chatting it up for a little bit this She's is like, entirely random yeah like, random like we just kind of bumped into each other Wow, there's like 20 million people that live in New York. <laughs> wow. Right, and yeah, she was doing wild. a show out there. So yeah, she was, she was, but she was so sweet, you know. Um, so I was like, dude, you make me like you even more. Yes, like you know, because yes. I, I've had an actual random conversation with you, and you yeah. were so like right. just hella chill, and mm. you know, I was just like, I'm gonna have to look her up. You're a real one. Her. Yeah, <laughs> you a real one. Angela Johnson. Yeah, she's Angela Bay Area, dude. Great. Yeah. Got it. Mm. How about you now? Uh, who have I met? That was super cool. Yeah. Um, besides oh, me, man. Yeah, I was about besides, to say, and me. Besides, besides me. <laughs> besides <laughs> you <laughs> two. Um, I met this guy in this group called uh, Two Nine. Do you guys remember that group at all? They were really big, like, uh, like 2014, 2015. It's what called Two Nine T W O Nine. Um, I can't remember. Julie, can you Google it? Is I'm doing it right now. Keep talking. Okay, T W O dash nine. Anyway, there's this tall guy. Mm. Uh, he's got like this afro, but um, mm. he, he we were we were opening. Uh, me and my a uh, couple of my friends we opened up for this this group that was opening up for I think Kevin Gates or something. But anyway, uh, so like mm. we met him and like the crew like after like the show was over and it was like by the bar and like you know I just shook hands with him. Anyway, like uh, he pretty much like encouraged me to like just keep making music it was like he like when we had the conversation it was like a, from a really encouraging like standpoint which mm. was like really cool because i was opening up for him and you know i was still like young like as far as you know in the game and you know he said you know just don't stop like don't listen to anyone telling you yeah don't. it's true was, you know and i was just talking to him and it was really cool like that was really cool uh, i don't know where they've been at but i think they're he, out of georgia east side that's right yeah. and anyway i th- at south by southwest like they kind of got canceled because like they he like I guess he like beat up a girl. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. The, I'm like, dude, I, that 
doesn't match what I experienced when I met him, like someone who like beat up a girl. But mm. anyway, so I'm pretty sure like after that, like they kind of like stopped being relevant. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's probably like it just, allegedly. Yeah. Let me just I mean, put that out there. <laughs> I'm not trying to go to court. Wait, question. You went to South by Southwest? Yeah. What year? Um, I went 2013, 2014, 2015. Oh. After that, I, I, it was, I've always wanted to go there. Yeah, oh, it's it so crazy. much fun. Really? We should take a road trip, man. So much fun. Yeah, after COVID's over, for sure. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, Ray, let's go, man. Shout, Shout out to Ray. <laughs> yeah, we went, Visual artist there. I went out there last year. Oh, my God. Amazing. It was my first experience. Yeah, um, oh. me and my fiance went out there. Oh, my God. It was intense. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, but I got to meet so many people. I networked with so many people. Mm. I got to perform at a couple bars oh. there. So it was, it was cool. And then, yeah, it got crazy that's, that's especially at line. night yeah. at, oh my i went God, to a travis this... scott show in 2015 a rodeo it's freaking nuts it was nuts all right oh, miss vicky yeah. thank you so much man we really appreciate you for for spending the time um again drop your socials i'll drop it in the links but let everyone know right now once again yeah definitely so you guys can find me on all social media platforms as miss vicky music and if you can find me on my music platforms just write miss vicky Damn. And thank you for being so awesome. <laughs> thank yeah. you. No, thank you guys for You're having great. me. I, I really enjoyed you. it. It was so much fun. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, you guys are I, awesome. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to put you on this new artist. Going to open up for you next time. Uh, 99 Juju. There you go. Yeah, 99, 99 Juju. Juju. Stop laughing, bro. You got to You got to set. You got to send me man. some tracks. I, I got to make these sure that it's. Off. I can like. You know what I'm saying? I look a lot cooler. Cool. Shut up. <laughs> Stop clowning. He, right. probably, he probably has a little, you know, wig ready for him. <laughs> like, subscribe, all that. Rainbow. Thanks for joining us. Less than zero. Let's go. Thank you guys.